So, Global Accessibility Day, what does it mean? What does it mean to you? Well, I'll tell you what it means to me. And leave it in the comments below if you've heard about this and what, what does it mean? We're kicking back in our garden, just kind of chilling and having a chat about accessibility, digital inclusion. And in here, we've got Sean. How far have you travelled? To, to be with you today, I've travelled from our <laughs> living room. Um, so but, not far uh, at all. No, but you know what? I have been using digital technology all throughout the day. And it's because it's Global Accessibility Awareness Day, isn't it? It is today, it's yeah. It's wonderful. It's amazing. And it was founded back in May 2012 by Joe Devon, who's a web developer. He's based in Los Angeles. And it was inspired by a blog post he wrote. And uh, here we are. We're all talking about it. We need to talk about it. We need to make sure that it's accessible to all. Over 1 billion people, this is quite staggering, mm. over 1 billion people around the world live with a disability or impairment. And we use internet all the time don't we we use our phones we use smartphones we're now a, a we world of... with um news content as well we and do. i won't name them but i, I work for a broadcast and i yeah. presented a global accessibility awareness day yeah i was going to ask you about and, that and um mm. you know one of the issues isn't you know it's easy for us to think of it from a blindy perspective it's all right we've got a license to say blindy it's in my pocket somewhere my blindy license anyway um but it encompasses a whole degree of neurodiversity so people who may find colors are problematic mm. Um, it encompasses obviously visual consideration so people who have some residual vision are looking for uh, particular Contrast. contrasts yeah. and shapes and it encompasses people who are blind and use screen readers such as ourselves because you need not not very complicated I mean there's a world standard W3C standard but don't mm. worry if you don't know what that means because it's nonsense anyway all we need to know is I should be able to turn on my computer and use yeah that computer and consume the content yeah there would of course and we've come across this recently on the social distancing video be people who say well you should just stay at home and not have access to the internet and things and uh all sorts of but they're the but, minority of people yeah most of it, us know that you know most how of important it is but yeah. i mean of, of all days today how important is it in today's climate where we're facing a, a world a global pandemic yeah. and if it wasn't for wasn't for mm. digital things you know how difficult it would be to stay to stay in contact with our family and our friends and how important mm. accessibility actually is. So, Well, we're, yeah, all, we're all getting um, information on coronavirus, COVID-19 from various news sources, um, you know, all of them. And actually, interestingly, for many years, people have had traditional, not traditional, but for a few years now, people have had issues with trusting, quote-unquote, mainstream media. Uh, I declare an interest that I work in, quote-unquote, mainstream mm. media when I'm not in the garden dress as I am today, but actually more people are relying on that sort of source of information. And so what I would say is, um, while there are some fantastic, I mean, there really are, there are some brilliant independent content providers, mm. but they use platforms that exist at the moment. It's about giving me and you the same content that we would give to Larry a couple of doors down, you know? And it's yeah. not just, it's not just let's be nice to people with various disability. Let's not consider people with hearing impairments with, um, subtitles or whatever it's not just about that it's actually a commercially viable thing say, for you to do yeah and it's just the right thing to do imagine it was your nan yeah and, and i think um and i think on that point i think you know we all need access to to you know information whether it's booking you know your train tickets online mm. or whether it's going on holiday so you want to be able to do everything that anyone else can do you know at the comfort of your own fingertips and in, in front of me i've got um, my mobile phone and lots of people are always putting in comments yeah, got mine here. on my on my youtube and it's very slow at the moment because i wanted to prove a point uh, so you can actually hear what it's saying but a lot of people on my youtube channel um or even you know from if, if i'm on twitter say how do you use a mobile phone if you can't see are you really blind but yes Technology is alive and kicking. It is Global Accessibility Awareness Day. Go Google it um, and see how this accessible things are. This is a point I always are. think is quite interesting. Is actually, especially someone who does a YouTube channel. Yeah. Your phone's talk, chatting away. It there. is chatting away. You actually haven't had, I know other visually impaired vloggers have these questions. You haven't yet, to my knowledge, had anyone say, are you really blind? I know you'd like to prove it to them in a very dynamic way, and I'm not so sure you should. But... Um, it's not, it's not really any of your business um, when I say that. Ask the question. If somebody's asking genuinely, sure, what can you see? Yeah. And you can tell them. And yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, exactly. And, and I would like people to ask because people are curious. Mm. I'm here to educate and I'm here to raise awareness mm. about how I live my life as a blind person. You know, how I how I use technology in, access, in an accessibility uh, format and how I, I manage those things. But um, 
when I do comment on other YouTubers' mm. videos and, and other creators, people do say, well, how did you manage that if you can't see? How did you write this well, message? Well, it depends. So I think it's fair enough if there's genuine curiosity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but actually, let's, let's borrow into Global Accessibility mm. Awareness Day. So, for instance, one of the ways that a screen reader user uh, such as ourselves would navigate the internet would be via shortcut keys and you've obviously got your down arrows and your tab keys but there are things called headings so you know if you're reading say a news site or whatever you've got heading level one two and three, three. and there's a whole guide on what you're supposed yeah. to, be able to do so theoretically one of the more common and most common screen readers at the moment is jaws for windows it's a yeah. paid for product there is an open source free bit of software that you can donate to and you should if you can called nvda non-visual desktop access and so for instance certainly on jaws it's probably the same for nvda because you can have shortcut keys if you hit your one key two key or three key above your main numbers it should navigate to your headings or headings. if you hit h now yeah where some sites fall down on accessibility is they don't do that and they don't label buttons and it's it's yeah. very trivial if you're a coder or a web person it takes you all of about five seconds to label a button. Yeah, and, 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 and it's, it's not a, yeah. demanding, is it? It's look. It's, no. Why, why would it hurt you? It would really help us. It would really help us to know what <laughs> what the buttons yeah. are. And and when you go on certain apps as well, certain apps can be absolutely fantastic if only yeah. the the buttons were labelled. Um, and I and I find that just. That's one thing I would just say is just, you know, if you want people to, to access and, and maybe do some testing, reach out to people because I'm more than happy to kind of do some testing yeah. to make sure it is accessibility for everyone to use. And actually it is your benefit because we're likely to come back to your business and do business with you if your website is accessible. And you can get people who would commercially um, accessibly audit Absolutely. things. And if oh, you're, yes, so Domino's yeah. Pizza were getting sued in the States. I'm not sure where, where it currently is because the site wasn't accessible. And under the Americans with Disabilities Act, which mm. is what's there, the argument is that that should have been made accessible under the ADA. And Domino's position was it would cost a fortune. But actually, guys, um, it's this problem, it's difficult to talk about this without somebody getting angry and saying, oh, you're being se self-entitled was the one we had on social distancing. <laughs> yes, it was. But... Here's the thing. Um, it's a bigger picture, I isn't can't it? buy a pizza from you if your site's not accessible. Yeah, so it'll and it's be, as simple as that. It's worth your while to make sure that your websites yeah. are accessible and that your apps are usable for, for people with disabilities or mm. impairments because we're likely to come back, and that's the yeah. important thing. You know, We're yeah. a customer like anybody else, and we want the same sort of freedoms don't we let's talk a little bit about the sorts of digital uh, inclusion that we we have because I've, we've mentioned news uh, content because there's an awful lot of that uh the daily mail need a bit of shaming on this one i'm afraid and it's, it's not <laughs> a, you know I, I don't get into bashing any publication no uh the express is a little bit like it and, and don't the fact that they have a certain editorial bent don't read anything into that because you know i'm nicky neutral on that um and even if I wasn't, I would say I was. So the point is, it's not an editorial pop at them, but their sites are just so inaccessible, particularly the mail. Mm. When you're on there, they've got... And I have to... Can I just say, people say, well, hang on a minute, they'll form judgments. I am a journalist and I do it, as I say, in mainstream media. And I need to read all newspaper content, really. And I certainly do on occasion. But it's really difficult with the mail because you're reading a story and it pops up with some... An garbage. ad. Yeah. Well, I don't even mind that. So you can't you ad block mean, them. No, okay, you Because they're quite yeah. clever. But what it does is... it. What they call it draws focus from the screen reader. Yeah. So it takes you away from the story. That's what I was going to say. You can't really yeah. close it, and you, no. you have to start the whole thing again. And it does another ad, and it's just and it so takes unfriendly. time. Yeah. It re yeah. It, you know, we you, just want to read the content, or... and, and I think it's if it was in an easier format yeah. where people could, you know, easy reading for a lot of yeah. people is is better. You know, we don't mind if there are going to be ads in there because you need to kind of make some sort of financial benefit. Oh yeah, out of ads it. are fine. You know, fine. But it is just so frustrating when you get halfway through and it's then all of a sudden... It's tricky for them, but here's the point. Okay, to be fair to the mail and the Express and the mail, I, I'm sorry to say, it's, it's my honest opinion that's based on my experience and I'm mm -hmm. quite an advanced screen reader user. Yeah. Um, with the mail, uh, look, obviously, they've got a commercial model that relies on it and we absolutely mm. support that. Yeah. But it is just this whole point that it draws focus away. Now, there are other newspaper publications that get adverts in there you know you can do it in banners you can have it as visuals along the side that you know they're worried that people are going to turn off their images which the average user just isn't going to do mm. so if there's some way of you know doing that that would be awesome and listen they say that i don't know whether i love the expression but the purple pounds that yeah. money controlled by people with disabilities their friends and Families, families yeah. is we spend we spend a heck of a lot of money so under the table money. under the table i ordered from gear for music and uh, you, uh, you know 
you don't do commercial you haven't got any commercial endorsements down the line who knows i certainly don't because i'm not allowed to do anything like that but i think gear for music need a massive shout out mm. um, because their site is not only very accessible i've ordered i mean one of these microphones was from gear for music the yeah. other one was from work as part of a redundancy thing about 150 quid microphone uh we've got a field recorder under the table and that's a 550 pound bit of kit an audio interface that lets you speak directly into computers for the purpose of broadcast or recording directly so all of these various things and i'm going to use my digital inclusion now by the way and just keep an eye on something how good is that by the way how good is that that you get all of your various bits there i absolutely lo i absolutely love my mobile i don't i don't know where i'd be without it i don't know how i well, could be with the sat nav yeah with exactly the we've, we've blind been, we've been square the there's so many different apps yeah i've been so in romania we know romania i know romania quite well now anyway i, I think love i know romania. i know Bucharest a bit more than you because i've been going a bit longer mm. but you've been going a long time so yeah. i've been sort of if anybody knows it's strada nikolai Bauchescu is the big road that runs down uh, from the very centre, and that's where we tend to stay. The All the way up, yeah. if you follow it along, and I think you have to chuck a left, it takes you towards the old town uh, and Revolution Square. It's such a beautiful Square. place, though, and people are so friendly. Well, it is, but just bear with me, because I was going to yeah. say that a number of times you and I have been wandering around, and we think, OK, we want a coffee shop, and we say in the middle of Romania, uh, you know, walking directions to coffee shops, and we get the different options, and it's there. And yeah, and that that's what I love, and that's that's what the mm. you know smart that the smartphone has given people with disabilities, people yeah. with visual impairments that option, that freedom to yeah. be able to do things that other people would other people wouldn't think twice about. You know, get mm. a map out and away you go. Yeah. But actually, mobile phones have opened a world of possibilities. Can I say we've got a dog supporting Global Accessibility Awareness Day over to the side? It sounds like um, so. Like even now, for instance, we haven't got a camera operator. No. The and. Uh, the iPhone actually tells you pre precisely when you're in frame, but it's sitting not too far from the table, and we just know that it's doing its thing. Rolling away. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, you can you can control it on your phone, I think, but we don't need to just press a button. But actually, we are recording a video on yeah. our own without a camera operator, and we will edit that on the Apple infrastructure. I don't want to go on forever and a day because I'm wondering whether people are here, but what I will say is um, Siobhan's channel, but any subscriptions do help because it kind of eggs you on, doesn't it, to do more content? It does, and it drives me to, yeah, it drives me to create more content. And I want to be a portal of information where people can just come and share ideas and share the love, really, and, and just be um, yeah. a part of, of the community and um, share, share how you may may be feeling at the moment with you know sight loss or anything like that what things you're using because we can all share tips and suggestions together so yeah. that's really why i'm here and i really wanted to, to give Sorry a big about shout the talky out. thing by the way it's a that's bit okay. illustrative though it big works shout out it? to to global um accessibility global. awareness day seriously though do subscribe alan partridge <laughs> thanks for watching bye 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 <laughs>